For several decades, people have been duped into believing that we are just so far advanced beyond the problems of the past. We are just so more civilized and so better off. I believe that our ancestors, if they could come back, they would be horrified and furious at the deg degradation of morals that we see in society. I believe they would be absolutely, completely disgusted. And they wouldn't doubt the reason that God would pour out his wrath upon this earth. There's been so much pride, so much pride that the human race has t taken upon itself. But this current crisis that the whole world is in teaches us something. God is speaking to the world. He's saying, you think, you thought you were better. You thought you were above this kind of thing. You thought you were so advanced. Think again. God is not mocked. What you sow, that you will reap. You sow corruption and sin and darkness as defined in Scripture. You will reap death and destruction. It's almost like the people on the Titanic. So proud. The greatest boat that was ever built. The most invincible boat that was ever built. Nothing can sink it. And even while they were going down, they refused to believe that they would die. They refused to believe that it would sink even when they saw it right before their very eyes. That's how desperately wicked a lot of people are. That's how desperately wicked humanity is without humility and repentance. We got to humble ourselves. We got to get on our face before God. We've got to turn from our sins. And I will leave you with this one verse. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. God says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land.